Hey there folks, welcome to the random game on Shrinking. The game I have for today is called Darius Gaiden, I'm assuming it's called. Um, back in the day, I probably would have called this Darius Gaiden, like Ninja Gaiden, but I guess it's really Gaiden or Gaiden. Um, and this is an arcade game that was by Taito in the arcade and released on the PC by Interplay. I've never actually played this game ever. It looks like from the back of the box, it's it's a shooter. Um, shooters are not really necessarily my thing, but a lot of people really love shmups. And then, you know, I, I want to try and expand my horizons a little bit, try some more arcade games. And I love sort of PC arcade conversions. So let's check this thing out and see what's inside. And then we'll maybe play the game. I got here my big, uh, giant knife. As a reminder, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And give me a like if you like this video, so I'll do more of them. But I do have a bunch more stuff I want to do. Um, and catch my live streams if you have a chance. I can just tear the shrink, shrink wrap off, but I like to try to keep it on in case I want to save, um, save it on the box. This knife is not the best, honestly. It's, uh, a little bit, I'm afraid it's going to cut the actual <laughs> box. I mean, if it does a little bit, it's not the end of the world. I'm not like, that you know obsessed with these things but the idea was to try to keep it uh i have to be a little more forceful here all right there we go and then usually you want to cut the sides like a little bit so you can at least open it to like slip it under the lip there let me know what you think of this video in the comments section. Let me know what you think of this game. If you've played it before, and I'll try it out and give you my opinion. But uh, I'm curious what other people think. All right, so usually these boxes have these, these late era PC boxes have these cardboard inserts inside. Um, and, you know, usually not much else, unfortunately. And that's sort of why the big box PC format died, in my opinion. So, um, that's it. Nothing else inside. The The... Jewel case is not shrink wrapped. I think you can even see what's in there, but nothing else inside. The jewel case is not shrink wrapped, which is a little bit unusual, but it's not necessarily indicative of anything. Although it's a little bit dirty, um, but that could be just from bouncing around in that box for a long time. So we got a jewel case. Uh, here's the CD. Get a little dusty, but you know nothing, nothing too bad. It looks clean on the other side. And then over here we have a manual of some kind. It looks like a sort of cheaper one. Just a little insert. Come on. Uh, it's like you try to get these things out, especially when they're like very small. But here's the manual. <laughs> Just troubleshooting, basically. Oh, install instructions on the back here. So pretty straightforward if you have at least the operating system it was designed for. Then we got this generic interplay productions reference and troubleshooting guide. So let's check out the actual game and see uh, how easy it is to install a modern version of Windows and also um, how, what the game's like. All right, so here we're playing Darius Guide N, which by the way ran super easily on Windows 11, no problem at all. It starts with a text screen. Proko and Tiat started a journey for New World. About that time, there were emigration ships starting from the Death Star Darius. They arrived at a small planet, Vadis. The years went by, and people were about to return to the native Darius star. I think that's what it said before we went off the screen. Um, <laughs> obviously, as soon as you know what's going on, someone destroyed the strong point of the migration on Darius. Also, the transport ships being to go home are dot dot dot. The demon's hand reaches Vadis too. Oh. Not a very uh, well-written or well-translated text there. I don't know what's going on here. Warning, warp out. I will tell you, I read that this is the fifth game of the Darius series, so I'm definitely missing a lot here, apparently. A company of Silverhawks are almost all annihilated. Having high hopes, Silverhawks sailed, I think it said. It looks like a giant fish or something. Darius Gaiden, Silverhawk, Taito. Copper Tano Corporation Idea Farms. It looks like the it looks like I haven't played the arcade game, but it looks like almost a direct copy of the arcade, I would guess. And demo play, credit one, credit zero. And um Yeah, I mean like you sort of see why arcades sort of died to some extent. But now like everything in the arcade in order has to be like some super huge machine with a steering wheel, whatever. 
Because a game like this, like if it came out, you know, in the early 80s, they never would have to replicate it on a PC or whatnot or any machine. But this is 1998, I think, is that what we said? 1998. Actually, it's 1995 to 1998. So maybe it came out of the arcade 1995. And then by 1998, they could easily replicate it on the PC. So what was the point of going to the arcade and playing it if you can play it at home? So, yeah, let's check it out. Again, I'm not much, much of a shooter guy, but... You know, let's see what happens here. So, look at some options. Let's do start, level normal. Alright, so the nice thing is you can hold down the button. I'm playing on the keyboard. Obviously, you can also, I'm sure, play on a joystick, but the purpose of this, I don't see the point. But, it's very noisy. <laughs> I will tell you that. For the actual you know, video, I'm trying to turn down the noise. Because it's so noisy. The screen's filled with all these bullets and crap. If I stop for a second, you can hear the music, which is not bad, but, but I need to keep shooting in these games, right? I mean, like, otherwise I'll get killed. There's also a second button with a, a smart bomb or something, which I think destroys everything on the screen. And I suppose I'll try that at some point, but, I mean, no point using it now. I don't know if in the arcade you can hold down the button like this. I bet you can't, but I mean, definitely holding down the button makes it a lot more tolerable to play. If I wasn't holding down the button, this would be a huge pain. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what to shoot at. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Got my shield. Ah! I'm dead! Let me try my smart bomb. Killed it. I don't know if it would have killed it if it wasn't already weak, but it did kill it. Well, yeah, I'm sure also if I smash into the, into the walls and stuff, I'll also die. We can test that out, but. So the music is actually really nice. You can't. Let me see something. You, I think you can turn tune down. Hold on a second. I think you can turn down the music. I mean, to do that. Ah! Oh shit. The music's all gone. <laughs> Wait a second. Hang on. There's a. There's a there's an options here. Sound. Let's turn up the background music. And let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. I'm very freaking dead. Let me continue. Warning. I guess this is the boss. A huge battleship, Golden Ogre, is approaching. That, didn't, that only helped a little bit, but not that much, honestly. Oh my god, they weren't kidding when they said it was approaching. See, I don't... I don't if I, it might have played this before, I have some clue what I'm doing, but I don't think it's even hitting him, hurting him right now. It's just like shedding his skin. And now it's hitting him, it's going in his mouth. But I was about to say, he's about to shoot something at me, I'm sure. And he was, of course, so... That was not the best move there. You gotta, like, sort of know the timing to, to do this properly. Oh, I blew him up. All right, cool. Nice. So what happens now? Oh, it's like Outrun, where you get to go to different places and you can pick which way you want to go. I guess it picked for me because I took too long. Well, it's just credit one. I wonder if you continue or what. I mean, that's one thing I'm curious about. I'm not going to play so long. Actually, I want to die a couple times to see what, what the continue situation is like. Because I would hope you'd have unlimited continues. If you don't, I mean, it makes it more of a challenge, I guess, but let's see what happens if I die a bunch of times. I really just want to know. I shouldn't have taken that shield. Come on, kill me. Kill me. Alright. Come on, kill me a few more times. All right, continue. Now it says credit zero, so what happens after that is the question. It's like, give you a little bit of invincibility there. <laughs> I kill all my invincibility frames, but I'm dead, okay. Last guy. Come on. All right, now what happens? Continue. So I'm pressing, I'm trying to continue, but it's not letting me. I, the second player can press start. But I wonder if there's a button to put in a corner. It's like it's. It, whoops! What did I do? 
Oh, I pressed F1 and it says error on op opening help. That's not what I wanted to do. But yeah, I don't know how to continue it. There probably is a way. I mean, I have to read the manual, but I don't think it actually came with much of a manual. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> game over, though. But anyway, yeah, I don't know what the, what the story is with that. I don't, there must be, is there a way to continue? I don't know, but I'll have, to, I'll have to figure it out. But it looks like it's a fun game, I will say. There's some option there. Maybe the option would say you continues, but I, 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 I want to play this, though. It's a lot of fun. I want to know up, up front, though, like, what the continue situation is. So I don't, like, waste my time playing through, like, nine tenths of a game and then I can't beat it at the end and I get really frustrated. That would be annoying. So, anyway, though, it looks like a very cool game. Looks like, a, I mean, for as far as I can tell, it must be a faithful port. The music is great. The, the visuals are great. The sound is loud but great. And the gameplay is very smooth. I don't, I don't really see any issues with it at all. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool port, and I'm glad to have it. And I'm definitely going to play the game and check it out. Like I said, not much of a shooter guy, but only just because, I don't know, I just never got really got into it. So now's, now's my chance with some of these games. So, if you like this stuff, let me know what you think in the comment section. Give me a like if you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll do this again soon. But in the meantime, let me know what you think, and have a great day, everybody.